Good morning, I'm Gary Bebo, CEO of White River Health System, and this is my uh, third in the series of CEO Connections. The, the standard of the month for July is communication, and uh, this is an example of how I'm trying to do a better job in communicating with the staff as a whole. So um, let's, let's get started. Um, a couple things I want to bring up to date is that we have a neurologist joining the, the medical staff starting on July 9th. Uh, they're starting to take appointments starting, well, actually yesterday, July 1st, and so uh, there'll be more information out uh, in, in the upcoming few days on how to best make those appointments and how to welcome Dr. Van Zant onto the staff. You know, a year ago in June, we, first, we started our ACE training here at White River Medical Center, and over the last 12 months, um, a lot of the clinical employees have gone through ACE training. You know, that was out of the page uh, of uh, Stone County Medical Center's ACE training programs that they've done for many years, and the results at Stone County Medical Center has been really a tremendous uh, scores in the way of patient satisfaction. So for the last year, we've been doing that at White River Medical Center, and starting in October, we will start requiring not only the clinical staff, but all employees of the hospital to undergo ACE training all committed to excellence. Because what we found is for the last year that our scores have improved dramatically. I've got a lot of feedback from employees who have participated in ACE training and, and to, the, to every one of those comments, they found it useful, they found it well worth their time, and frankly, so have the patients. So I really appreciate the hard work that the ACE training staff have done to put together a program. And even today, they're trying to develop the new program starting in October making it just as entertaining and, and useful as the one in the past. So um, be sure to come to those programs and, uh, and give us a benefit of, of your feedback. I get a lot of questions about the construction programs at the hospital. I don't need to let uh, you folks at Stone County Medical Center, White River Medical Center know that we've been undergoing a lot of construction over the last several years. You know, it's almost un impossible for me to believe that we've been in the, the patient pavilion or the East Tower at White Medical Center for almost a year now. And so much has really improved as a result. No longer do we have the long waits in the emergency room for the need of patient beds. And so uh, while our census hasn't really increased that dramatically over the, last, over the last year, what we have found is we've done a lot better job in taking care of patients and reducing the, the wait times in the emergency room. So what do we got coming up in the future? Right now, we're in the information systems um, location to develop a warehouse for some of their equipment that they have up there. Following that, we're gonna finish off a couple of semi-private rooms on the third floor nursing unit to bring those up to the same standards as the rest of the, of the rooms on that floor. Following that, we're gonna get into uh, renovation of our pain management uh, services over which will be over in the Medical Arts Building. Now, that's gonna take a, a period of time to finish, probably up to maybe five months. Um, and I, and I, I wanna bring you up to date there because all those things are gonna to need to be completed before we start the emergency room project. So while, while we had hoped to start the emergency room project sometime late summer or early fall this year, it really looks like we're gonna probably be in the winter of 2014 before we actually get started. I want to assure all the employees who have participated in the campaign that your monies have been put in, in storage and they will not be spent until we start on that emergency project. But we probably, we really won't get that started until that February, March period of 2014. It's really an important project as we've already talked about. But in this day where we really got to be conservative on how we spend our funds and spending those wisely and, and, and try to spread out those costs as much as we can, we believe that the projects that the way I've described it is the best way to address those and in the long run we'll have the services just the way we want them. You know this uh, monthly video is really important to to me and that I, I provide the information to you on a timely basis in a manner that you want to receive those so please if you come up with suggestions on how to improve this, the videos uh, please send those on to me and that information will be provided to you at the end of, the, of this video. I hope you all have a great July, and uh, we'll uh, come back and talk again in the beginning of August. So have a great week, and, and uh, happy 4th of July.